and my brother does love me and I think if he didn't love me I wouldn't be living with him today I'm going to be reacting to some of the hate comments that I get on a daily so here we go let's go ahead and jump right into it Kevin 54 Kerr has given me this great opportunity to address with you guys that my last name is Mahomes so a lot of you think it's maybe Mahomo but let me just tell you it's Mahomes and Kevin 54 Kerr can grow the f up Okay, so this is probably the fifth or sixth video I've made on this channel about Jackson Holmes, mainly due to the fact that this nitwit can't stay out of the headlines for all the wrong reasons. But this most recent news of Jackson surely takes a kick as Kansas City Police are now involved in investigating after allegation against the young brother of Chiefs QP and the new face of the league in Patrick Mahomes. So where do we begin? The younger Mahomes has clearly piggybacked and rode the coattails of his older brother, parlaying that into stupid cringy TikTok dances, a social media following, and some pretty bad moments in the past couple years. Jackson, or should we just call a spade a spade, Fredo, IT AIN'T THE WAY I WANT IT! got into an incident a couple years back when he poured water on taunting Ravens fans during Baltimore's 36-35 win over the Chiefs. Then he also had an incident where he tried to get a KC bar cancelled by posting to social media in a since deleted rant claiming that the restaurant didn't treat him properly and basically just confirmed everyone's opinion that this kid is a pretty insufferable human being. And on top of that, he started posting TikTok dances while standing on the number of the late Sean Taylor pretty much gives you everything you need to know about him. Look, I get him trying to use his new influence, especially in this day and age, but now he's starting to make his older brother look really bad. There's gonna come a point where Patrick's gonna have to have a sit down with Jackson and tell him to cool down his antics, but this latest allegation, which now has involved law enforcement, might be a sign that things have fallen deeper than expected. The 22 year old is accused of assaulting a waiter and the owner of a restaurant in Overland Park, Kansas in late February. He shoved a 19 year old waiter and then following that incident, he forced himself onto 40 year old Aspen Bond, owner of Aspen's restaurant and lounge. Okay, hold on, am I the only one who thought this boy was gay? Cause he sure has a lot of feminine energy. Because I actually addressed this question. I am straight. I don't have to act straight. Anyways, here's a clip of Jackson forcing himself onto the owner. According to the owner, she stated that Jackson and his party were in the upstairs VIP area where they appeared to be smoking weed inside. This is when Jackson asked to speak with her privately in regards to the altercation with her server. And then moments later, he joins her in the basement office where he grabs her neck and then forced himself onto her. He's 6'6 and she's 5'4, so she's clearly at a disadvantage. You could tell from the video she was trying to get him off of her. Anyways, here's her statement to the KC Star regarding the matter. He forcefully kissed me out of nowhere. I'm telling him, pushing him off, saying, what are you doing? And then he proceeded to do it two more times, where the last time I was pushing him off and I could see on the cameras that somebody was outside of the office door and I was yelling for them to come help me because he's big and massive. So yeah, if all of Jax's antics over the past two years didn't prove to you that he's human waste, I'm pretty sure this new video will. My take on this is that it's pretty obvious from the video what happened. You should never force yourself on someone like that. You just don't do it. I'm sure the younger Mahomes is going to take a lot of flack for this recent incident and who knows, maybe this might be the last time we see or hear from this kid for a while. Hopefully.